Hi, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to do a video flip of a recent journal I just finished. I uh, had so much fun doing this and boy is it a big, big fluffy journal. It is about ten and a half inches high, seven and a half inches across. It has three signatures. Each signature has 13 pages, so folded in half, front and back, that gives you a total of 156 pages for writing. And the request was for a journal uh, similar to the romantic one that I did earlier and had lots of room to write in. So the client sent me some photos that I was able to use. And well, let's, let's dive in and take a look. We have the tassel. And there are some charms. We've got a flower. We've got some birds. There's a heart in there. <clears throat> a little shell on the cover because she said they love shells on the beach. And in here, I won't unwrap it, but this is my letter from the bookmaker. The little pocket. And one of my eco prints. Tried to put something, a tuck, a journaling card, or a, I'm sorry, not a tuck, a journaling card or an envelope or a tag or something in every tuck spot and pocket. We have a little flip. And then there's lots of quotes of love scattered throughout. There's no scrapbook paper or digi kits used in this. This is all my own dyed paper, whether it was tea dyed, copy dyed, um, eco printed. These little corner ones I love because there's room to write and then hide it little tag and of course the tags all have spaces to journal on the back. Yeah, you're not even going to be able to see completely I guess because of how wonderfully fat this is. We have a flip. This is one of my uh, distress spray leaf impressions. Here is a little envelope so she can do her own thing with that. And a tuck spot. And I'm going to be having a video down, uh, coming up soon on how I do these little quilted pieces. Paper clip. Some more dyed paper. I put some paper over the edges. It just gives a nice texture to it. Some more journaling places. A lot of the ephemera she can take out of here if she wants, and then she'll have a little bit more room for it to lay down flatter. And some stenciling, another paper clip, and these are just so much fun to do. Just book pages folded in half and glued together with the paper clip in the middle, and then some little starry silk at the top. Another tag with another flip up spot. Another one of my eco dyed pages. This one, I love this one. I think this is an avocado leaf and probably a grape leaf. And then we have another little journaling card with a little flip. Tuck spot. And these are just some unattached envelopes so she can journal in them if she wants to. She can, you know, use them as an envelope, whichever she wants. And I'm just going to move this guy over and the paper clip. We have another flip. Just lots of little quotes, little pieces of paper for added texture. I just, I, I love texture. Another journaling card, and this is a tuck spot. Little cluster on top. Lots and lots of spaces to write. And these are little books I make with uh, parchment paper. And, whoops, a little poem on the inside. Fits in the belly band. It's another one of those little just blank envelopes that she can use however she wants. Writing space. Another little tuck spot. More writing space. Paper clip. I'm going kind of fast because there's a lot of pages in here. And I know you guys don't normally like to sit through a really long journal, but you want to see what's been going on. Here's another one of those little envelopes. I just, I really, I love the way they came out. Another little tuck spot with a flip. 
And yeah, I'm currently addicted to putting flips in journals. I just, I, I love it. It takes advantage of more, or gives you more space, takes advantage of the edge to give you a little bit more space and a little bit more interesting than just flipping the blank pages. And we have another flip. Again, just a little bit of paper on the edges there for some texture. Another blank envelope. This is the only scrapbook paper I used was with making envelopes, not on any of the pages themselves. And the paper clip. There's a total of 12 paper clips throughout the book. So I try to make sure you got something interesting on each page to look at. And of course, then she's going to take it and make it her own. A little bit of stencil. And another tuck spot with a flip up, another eco print, and then we got the center there. I think these are some guava leaves. I'm not sure what those are. And I think there's the faint things of a red bud and some more grape. Another journaling card. So easy, if you just tea dye or coffee dye a bunch of index cards ahead of time, you will be good to go. Another little journaling spot. Tag with a little tuck. We have another flip. This is some distress sprays, some leaf impressions on some of them. We have another little tuck with one of those envelopes. Oops. We have a flip and a paper clip. Another belly band with another one of these little parchment books. Great way to use up your uh, cutoffs. Leaf impressions, another tag. Of course, you can journal on the back of the tag, and you can journal in here. Journaling card. So I hope she'll be able to fill this up with lots of things that she loves. Paper clip. And another journaling card here with another tuck. And here we go, the last signature. Another journaling card. Tuck spot. We have a flip. These little flips like this are another great use of your scraps of paper that are left over after uh, making pages or something else. Journaling card. Flip. You still with me? And since I just love words and I love writing, it's so much fun to be able to put these little poems in there. Hope she enjoys them. Some more paper on the dyed pages. Another one of the little envelopes. And a tuck. Hope we don't have too many shadows in this one. I thought I had it set up, but it's storming pretty bad today, so I'm not sure. We have another flip. Flips do bulk up the book, but they are a lot of fun. Some leaf impressions, pages to write, some stenciling, another paper clip, another flip up, tag. I think these are grape leaves and red bud. Got another journaling card. So there's kind of a pattern to each signature that makes it easier for me when I'm doing a really big one. Tag the tuck. Home stretch. Another tuck. Flip. Home. Some more leaf impressions. Room to write. A little envelope and a tuck. And here we go, another flip. So much great crinkly sounds with all this dyed paper. Another belly band with the last of the three little parchment books. Distress sprayed impressions, paper clip, another little envelope with a tuck, and of course all those little corner spots. Ah, flip up for more room to write. We have a flip. 
paper clip. Oh, I love this paper. Another little tuck. Eco dyed page. And then here was one other little mini journal I made to go with it. And they've got little tuck spots in there as well. It doesn't quite fit in the pocket. So there we have it. I am uh, really grateful for the opportunity to make this book of love for my friend and member of her, uh, for a member of her family. Oh, and we have little bookmarks down here. I forgot about that. So we have two bookmarks and they have the little hearts at the end. You can see those. So here we go. We have a book of love and I hope you stuck with the whole journal, uh, through the whole journal video and I hope you will come back and see me again. Until next time. Bye for now.